What's up everyone? I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. And we are Grove, Grove Electric. Electric. All right, so today we have this Kona Electric vehicle and we are going to have a five hour road trip um, to go to a medical appointment, dinner, and then home again. <music> So here we have the dashboard of the Kona Electric. Up at the top right corner, we have 318 miles of range today with a full charge. As you see above the odometer, we have a limit of 70 miles an hour because we are in eco mode. However, I'm sure the highway driving we're gonna do is not gonna allow us to be in that mode, but we will keep you updated as far as how fast we have to go on these roads. Here we are about to turn the vehicle off at the medical appointment for today. So let's see what our mileage looks like. Um, so we did go about 70 miles the whole way and as you saw our kilowatt per mile went down to 4.5. So mileage, or sorry, speed on the highway definitely does impede on your range. For this road trip, obviously we've been doing a lot more highway driving than the local road driving around town type stuff. And honestly, at first I was not impressed with the brake pedal of the Kona Electric here. Um, it was very jolty, even with the automatic handbrake here. So it's not automatic, you have to use it. The manual handbrake up at the top. Um, so this manual handbrake will bring you to a full stop and then sometimes if you release it you can stay still if it's a flat roadway but there's also this little button down here called auto hold and auto hold if you push that then it um, will actually stay in a parked quote semi a pseudo that's the word I'm looking for there a pseudo park and so you can let your foot off the brake you can let off of this handbrake as well and then you'll just sit and like a normal like if you were to come to a coast and stop at a stop sign if you're going up a hill type thing so that does allow you to just sit at a stoplight or a stop sign really quick without using the brake pedal which again I said in town driving is very jolty using it on the highway however because you're not going to a complete stop you're just either slowing down a little bit which you do of course slow down just a little bit just by let it, lifting your foot off the accelerator pedal so it's a lot better of a highway driving car which I was honestly very surprised to feel out and to experience today we have arrived at our dinner location and we are about to turn the car up again one last time here before our trip home and this is going to show our mileage we took the back road highways i like to call them so this is going to show how different it is going just 40 to 60 compared to 60 to 70 the whole way so there you see i increased the kilowatt the miles per kilowatt to 4.8 so that is substantially different than 4.5, of course, and I'm sure that our town driving this weekend will get us back up into the five miles per kilowatt range again as well. Off to dinner, guys. All right, so we are getting ready to leave our dinner spot. It was very good. I had some wild boar ribs. I can tell you this, they are quite gamey. So it was a little bit more than I had anticipated, but you know, that's what you get when you order wild boar. And we also had some gator bites. Those were delicious. Those are really good, really, really good. Anyway, so we're gonna drive home and uh, we have about 85-ish uh, miles till we get home. And the car reads,
171 miles. So in reality, we should be fine. We should be able to make it, but we are gonna be mostly highway driving. We'll be having the air conditioning on as well as, as well as the highway driving. So let's see how efficient we are on this uh, last leg on the way home and see if we can make it. All right, so we've been traveling for about an hour now and we have 90 miles of range remaining and 30 miles remaining to the trip. We did hop off of the interstate just because it's not the way we prefer to travel. So we're on what we like to call the back highways. A little bit more hilly, but slower speeds. So yeah, I, I think we're gonna be totally fine. Uh, like I said, 90 miles with 30 miles remaining on the trip. So the car is doing extremely well for averaging 4.7 miles per kilowatt hour. All right, so we just got home and we have 69 miles remaining of range. And I gotta say, overall, this is an excellent vehicle, especially as if, if you were getting your first ever electric vehicle and you just wanted something simple that was very standardized to a vehicle that you used to drive because this is based on a gasoline powered vehicle. 4.8 miles per kilowatt average consumption is absolutely incredible to be traveling anywhere between 50 and 70 miles an hour. We did almost 240 miles and so exactly 238 miles we drove but we had 69 miles remaining. Uh, this morning the vehicle said that we had 318 miles of range. That was before aircon was on and any type of climate control. So really we didn't lose anything and the gasometer in this car is quite accurate. So if it says you can go 300 miles, you probably can. And with that too, um, by the time we got to dinner to this evening, um, my phone was at 2% because I did not plug it into the Apple CarPlay that this car does have. Um, but it happens and so I did charge it while we were driving this last leg and I got 60% charge as well so and just like everything else it uses a part of the battery so that probably also um, was a part of why we didn't get to 318 like the car predicted this morning we got up to 307. And if you're still looking for a Hyundai and you want to, you know, go up into the upper echelon of Hyundai, you can always go with the Ionic 5. However, we haven't test driven that. So Hyundai, uh, you know, hear the calls, send us a press vehicle and uh, we'll take it for a drive and, and review it. But anyway, yeah, no, it was a great road trip, an excellent car to spend the day in. Certainly miss our Tesla Trinity, but I'm glad that we at least have this to enjoy while she's in the shop getting fixed up. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>